what is up guys and welcome back to another video I'm the why not gamer and once again we have my brother Trell here with us and we're gonna be playing Kingdom Hearts 3 and kind of just going through it showing a lot of the gameplay and kind of talking about it and what we think about it and just having fun with it <laughs> so anyway yeah this this game was a pretty fun game we're gonna be playing through kind of the first level here this is at Mount Olympus with Hercules and so, yeah, I really like the game. I mean... It came out, what, a couple... 19? January of 19. Yeah, so 2019, little so little almost two years old now. I mean, I didn't get to play it right off. There was a lot of expectations coming into this game. Huge and expectations. Yeah, it's they were like a... When did the Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in 2005? 2005, so... 15, almost, almost 15, 15 years. years of people waiting for this game to come out, and... <laughs> I mean, there's just so much hype, I feel like it was hard for them to live up to the hype, for one. Yeah, it's true. And, I don't know, it's not a bad game. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's bad but, at all, yeah, but... Yeah, it doesn't quite live up to the... I think just where the first one and the second one were just so good that well, everyone expected just a little more, Yeah, I think, out of it. And nice. I think where it kind of fails to deliver, I'm sure some people won't agree, but it's just the story doesn't... It doesn't hit as hard as the other the other game stories did, and that was just kind of the their calling card, if you will. You know. Oh yeah. It's a great story. Oh yeah, I feel the same way. Like having a, a deep story at the same time, having all your favorite Disney characters there with you. I mean, it's just. I mean, and this is awesome. This is the ultimate Keyblade, if you don't know, and this is very hard to get. You pretty much have to beat the game completely, right? You, you have to, like, get all these items and do these bonus games. It's kind of a pain in the butt, really. It's like, oh, come on, just let me have it, but... I mean, once you get it, it's... I couldn't play the game now without it. <laughs> just because it makes it so much... It's just so cool to look at and so much more fun. Oh, it's so powerful, and You just too. make it so powerful. And I mean, like, in this mode... You're like floating around, and it looks like you're wielding a sword. <laughs> it looks like we were talking about it. it looks like the big Power Ranger sword, like <laughs> the, the sword Red from Rangers, Power Rangers, Red Sword. We, anyway, this is cool, and uh, that's cool. I think to, to play as. I mean, it's nerdy, but it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, I don't know. It, it plays pretty well. There's some. It's you kind of get just overpowered though. And just like that. I mean, I am your ma max level and stuff, but it's just kind of like you just kind of mash the attack button and then sit back and watch. Yeah, I thought that too. I mean, I think I beat the game at level 39. Yeah, which, which is crazy. Is really low for a Kingdom Hearts game. And that was even on a proud mode, which is the one of the harder modes. That's the hardest mode you can play on at first. And yeah, um, yeah beating it at that low of a level was kind of, you know, not very challenging if you're a, a person that likes to play games and be like more challenging well, games. And if you're familiar with the series and you, you know, if you're playing it, you probably are, you know, you want it to be a little more challenging. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, but it, it looks good and it, it plays well. I mean, it looks really good. Yeah, it's, um, and I mean, there's nothing really wrong with the gameplay there's no like bugs or weird glitches that you notice or and i mean it's this is kind of the same old formula you smack them until their health bar goes down you know and you've got your basic you know your magic and stuff and... i think one thing that really just makes people really just not like this game too much is the fact that they and spoil alert first that they they kind of screw sora <laughs> i mean yeah, he, yeah. He, you know, the first one, he's pretty much the savior. He comes and saves the day. The second one, he saves the day. But yet, he's just still not that Keyblade Master that everyone wants to see. Sure, when you break into the, the lore of it. And I mean, you could make <laughs> hours of video yeah, just talking can, about the story. You know, it's very convoluted. And I think you just kind of expect that with the series anymore. Though. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's just hard. And, and then with all the, like off games, the games break off games that they had on the other consoles yeah, the and the DS's awesome. and yeah. all those games. I mean, it's just building up to this this game. This, it was supposed to be just this big dramatic final ending and 
like I said, I hate talking bad about it. Yeah, it's not, it's a, bad not a bad game. game. It's a great game. It plays game. well. But it's just, I feel like it didn't quite deliver on a few things. Uh, the story being probably the biggest. Yeah, one. probably the biggest being the story. I mean, there's, there's a lot of fun levels in the game. There's a lot of cool designs that they give Sora yeah. throughout the different levels. And um, like we said, the gameplay's really good. His... It, it holds up to its attacking and the, the way he is designed to move in the game is really good. Um, the keyblades are cool, a different way of upgrading them in this game so that nice. even the keyblades that aren't initially as powerful can still also be good. And yeah, they're fine. They were missing, though, I have to say, they were missing, like, Oathkeeper and Oblivion. That's true. That was something that really I didn't like either. Is, yeah. Those are two of the most popular. Keyblades Some really cool there. keyblades. They didn't have a lot of choices. I, mean, I feel like I don't know his clothes. I feel like I was expecting the the King March two of the clothes are they just pop more. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping they'd go with a little bit different color base. I mean, I love the black, the but the black and the red. It's only his last one was just black, and it's pretty much only changing just the little red highlights in there. Yeah. Um, not to say it's not cool, but. <laughs> But I mean, this keyblade. This like, keyblade kind of is awesome. It's just awesome. <laughs> yeah, this keyblade definitely makes up for everything. <laughs> it's. Yeah. I just wish you got it at the first. <laughs> right. You don't have to go clear to the end of the game to get it. Yeah. Even but, uh, when I played through, I just didn't want to deal with the effort of doing all the gummy ship things, which can be kind of annoying. They take a long just time. Kind of taxing on you. There. Yeah, and if if you don't upgrade your gummy ship, then some of them are kind of hard. They're difficult. And so you really have to kind of spend a lot of time using that. One thing about this game is magic is magic so is overpowered. Power. You don't have to even hit it. Well, Thundaga just takes people out. Oh, so, yeah. Man, this Keyblade is so cool. It it's is really cool. Just a sword. A <laughs> rainbow sword. It's like if all the Power Rangers mixed colors and made a sword. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if Power Rangers is a thing anymore. Off. I don't know. There was like hundreds of different kinds of different Power Rangers seasons. through the years. I, mean, I, I think they really went through all the Animal Kingdom of transformations. Any other than the first ones, like when I was a wee lad. But yeah, and the story was just kind of empty, I feel like. They were just kind of going through the motions. Yeah, just kind of going where, from story to story, kind of. Yeah, and you just expect a little more from Square Enix, because they're the Final Fantasy, and they're kind of the pioneers of story. Yeah, they are. In-depth stories and games. You know, you think Final Fantasy VII, the original, was... Oh, yeah. So, and this Kingdom Hearts draws a lot, if you've ever played both. We might review both of them together. For just, sure, yeah. Well, we might have to do that for another episode. Yeah. Just show them side by side. They were... Created around the same time. Same time, yeah. And Final Fantasy VII, if you haven't played that game, it's an amazing game. It's pretty fantastic. Oh, yeah. oh amazing. If it doesn't get Game of the Year this year, it, it's definitely one of the top ones. Yeah, um, it's pretty good. It's it's a really good game. Um, you know, when I think of Kingdom Hearts 3, I think that it's kind of... It's like a PlayStation 3 game that came out on PS4. Yeah, it's... It was just... I feel like it should have come late. out... Maybe in like 2013, 2012. It really should have. Yeah. It's it's true. Um, I, I don't know if they did it because of the build-up. They wanted to make those side games, kind of finish out the story. Or if it was just... They're busy on... They're, yeah, they're busy doing other stuff. Other yeah. Maybe they're just... Kind of kind of just kind of thin. delaying it. I, I don't know. I'm not sure either. And again, it's not bad, but it's just kind of like with such a big popular series you expect. As a gamer, you expect more. Oh yeah, thing. for sure. Especially from something coming from you know Square Enix and Disney, you know it's, yeah, this, some huge big, names. Yeah, yeah, huge names. It's like we know you. It's not like you're lacking any resources to do it. It's just, I don't know. It just happens sometimes, but for sure. A, a cool part about this game that I did like is they added. Um, the little thing that you can have an extra people coming with you. Like on this one, we have Hercules, oh, yeah, who is cool. following around with us, and Donald and Goofy both get to be there too, which yeah. is really cool. I mean, in the other games, it was it was still cool, like having to pick and choose. But at the same time, you kind of feel bad that you have to like leave someone behind. <laughs> yeah, put yeah. someone on the bench. That was better. One thing I think would be cool is so I know this can happen because in Final Fantasy VII, you can 
play as every other character. Yeah, that would switch be them cool mid battle. Too. I wish this was like I think it'd be cool to, you know, have some say in what they do. Yeah. While, while you're playing, you know, not just it's in the true, options. It's true. It's true. I remember back when I was I was little. My little brother, I'd like having him be around me, so I'd give him a controller <laughs> tell and him tell Donald him that he's he Donald, because he really liked Donald. <laughs> and so he would think that he's playing as Donald, and when he watches this, he's going to laugh and probably be mad at me. But <laughs> well, I think it was, I did it probably with It was too. funny. He probably did it with me. I think one time he did it with me, but we were playing Space... Or what yeah. was that? NBA Jam? Hang Time. Hang it Time. Hang time it was Hang Genesis. Time on the Sega. <laughs> and I thought I was playing, and I like at the very last second, he did like some alley oop, and I caught it and I dunked it, it and won the game, and won the game like last second, and I was like freaking out. Just the but happiest then, little kid. A little while later, like a few years later, my brother's like, "Oh yeah, you weren't even playing the controller." Like, was that was a major defining gaming like, moment of my life. No way! It was like the, the coolest thing that ever happened. That's so funny. <laughs> it was, I still feel bad about that. I, I was such a big deal. But yeah, guys, great game. It just, I think it could have been it's a like, little bit. Again, it yeah. should have come out in 2012. Should have came out sooner. 2011, maybe. Could have lived up a little more yeah, expectations. I mean, the right. ending, not going to spoil that for you, but it's just like, a, oh, serious? Well, and then the DLC. It didn't. It just. It showed what I mean, happens. I guess the but name it, Remind. Yeah. And you just redo the ending. Yeah, you just redo the ending, and it kind of explains a little, a but little more. not really. It kind of still leaves you on like a well, what happened? What happened? And so hopefully that they come back with another new game, and we really think they will. We're excited for it. I'd but like to see some Final Fantasy. Oh yeah. Or, I mean, they weren't they, even present. There was no characters. Final yeah, Fantasy that's, in this game. that's something we'd really Which like was to see. Staple for Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, that was big. There's no Leon. There's no Sid, Cloud. You, Sid. Sid Cloud. They're just not present. They yeah. just didn't exist in this game. We're kind of sad yeah. about that. Hopefully, I mean, even in like where they live, which is shown in this game, it, oh, doesn't, yeah. it doesn't show them there. It's, yeah, it doesn't even show here. them. Yeah, in whatever that place was. What was that? Radiant Garden. Radiant Garden. Garden. Yeah, they did, they, they no Radiant homework. Garden in the game, which would have been cool. Yeah, you don't get to go there. Either. They had a few throwbacks on here, like that uh, town in the second one where you start out with Roxas. What's that yeah. one called? It's Twi the Twilight Twilight Town. Is it Twilight Town? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Well, then there's only. I mean, we can count them here. There's one, two, three, four. Here. And then five, six, seven, eight, nine worlds. Nine worlds is all. And I think there was more than that on the eight PS2. Eight Disney's, yeah. I think it was more. I think so too. Even on the first one, there's probably about eight or nine. Yeah. So and I mean, I was just expect. That's the PS4. It's we just haven't bigger, seen it since you PS2, know. PS2. I yeah, was expecting. A little, it needs to be a little. I mean, bigger. the worlds are bigger. But they're bigger in volume, but in volume, I feel like the they're even short. And, even, and yeah, short. Sure. Yeah, he he was telling me just before that he beat the game in 17 hours. Yeah, without the cutscenes, skipping the cutscenes. That's another part that I kind of. I mean, cutscenes are great, but I watched like four whole movies just sitting here watching cutscenes. You know, like yeah. it's long. It's hours worth of cutscenes. Yeah. Well, it, and it's like. I don't know. It's the story just is slow. It's, just, yeah. it's like it could happen so, be told so quickly, uh -huh. and needs to be, and it's just carried on. It's like Sora's going to these worlds, and you hear this story, and then you get a tiny, tiny segment of yeah, the just actual a little bit. story. Uh -huh. And that's, I think that's the thing that we really liked a lot about the first one and the second one is, not only did the worlds just act as kind of in between, getting stronger, but they are actually important in the story too. Yeah. They worked in with the story, and I feel like these ones didn't quite do that as much. No, they didn't. It was kind of you weren't really doing because like the first one's like that princess of that world gets yeah, stolen for exactly. a bigger, the bigger, the bigger story purpose, line, the story arc, and uh, there's just none of that in this one. In the second one, you're kind of going through kind of like clearing out these areas. They yeah. need you to help them to uh, like overcome these places but this one it was kind of just like oh we're gonna go here yeah <laughs> we just show up here and then oh show up here. it's part, hey, look, part of the here. actual story it's just like it's like we in this one aren't just in their world but we're a part of their movie and even there's some scenes that are literally the exact same as in the movie yeah. but Sora's just in them right and so it was interesting I mean it's not a bad idea I think it, it, it was fun to play through, fun gameplay, yeah, um, just not just, quite as we expected it to be. I think it needs like 
a story comparable to the first two. The first mm-hmm. one was the best story. I oh, for sure, opinion. yes. Um, more Keyblade options. I mean, it's the third game. Oh yeah, you should. Uh, all the Keyblades should before have, should, should be on be there. In this yeah, game, I feel like are unlockable. For sure. Or I mean, if you want to be cheap, even make them so you can DLC them. You know, uh, but. And then I think control of other characters, like a Final Fantasy VII, oh, yeah. would be yeah, cool. Yeah, we definitely wanted to see a lot more of that in this yeah. game, too. They brought back a lot of characters that people love, like Ventus, Aqua, Terra. There was a ton of different ones, Roxas yeah. even, and you only you get play, little you play with them more on the DLC, but they're just, their move pool is so shallow and yeah. they're so weak compared they don't, to Sora. Yeah, they don't make stuff. them really depth. Really they don't give them depth, yeah. yeah. So that would be cool. Um... More worlds it would be awesome. Yeah. More Disney. I mean, Disney more can play worlds. with Star Wars and Marvel and all these things now. I would oh, like yeah. to see some. F- I mean, now we're moving into PS5. I mean, what's oh the, yeah? What's what's the next step? What's like, the, what, what can't you do? What, yeah, point? exactly. You should. What it feels like. Uh, there's other games that we've been playing. Um, we recently played that Ghost game, the Ghost of Tsushima. Tsushima, yeah. Great game if you ever played that one. That one is also one that we think is in the running for the game of the year. Oh, yeah. Um, amazing game and so many things you can do. It's this game just... is if you want to take on the role of a samurai or oh, yeah. hands oh, down yeah. the best game. Easily. Like, it's, I, I would debatably say it's better than Assassin's Creed. Like, that's how great I think this game is. Yeah, it's good. It's, it can be, it's comparable to Assassin's Creed, yeah. but it's in a different way. And... It's it's done really well. Yeah, yeah. well I I'm it. very yeah. impressed with that game. Yep. Cause I, I know I enjoy it when I like complete it. Oh yeah, style. yeah. Even me, like I normally don't complete games, but I went and completed that game. Yeah, it, it was that good. Got yeah. Every collectible and stuff. And just... Getting every armor and all the stuff on that. It's very fun. Yeah. Um, like I said, this game really great. We're getting a little off topic, but the the Keyblades could be better. But the last Keyblade, the ultimate one, awesome. Ultimate Keyblade. If, if you're gonna play this game, keyblade. try to endure. Get the Keyblade because it's it a lot more fun better, at the end. Oh yeah. And then, I mean, enjoy it, have fun, see your Disney characters. We'd recommend playing it, especially if you played the other ones. You gotta see how it grows. Yeah. I mean, maybe it goes back. <laughs> maybe grow maybe maybe bit, lower your expectations for this one. It's just but, not as deep a character. Yeah, but and stuff. But definitely say if you've played the other two, you've probably seen it. Yeah, anyway, it's but. it's a it's a game to play. Yeah. And well, I I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed us talking about it. Um, leave a like down below. Comment what is what you feel like the game is if you've played and if you'd ever play it and. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.